Yeah, that was a, um, I thought Providence obviously uh, handled business and uh, dominated the game from the jump tonight. Um, to me, that's a uh, probably a top 10, obviously top 15 right now, but maybe a top 10 team that has a lot of great pieces uh, with some really good players. And um, I wish we would have played a little better before the, the, the holiday break, um, but we didn't. And I think guys will um, you know, have to go home and uh, we'll come back a little energized with some fresh minds and uh, get ready for the next part of our season. Derek, is, is Ben Pentiel the, the kind of guy that, that, that you guys almost struggle the most with given his size, athleticism, and his ability to play inside? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting him to go three for five from the arc. They were a 20, 27% three-point shooting team without the kid physique. So I thought that... Um, you know, maybe playing a little zone or giving him some space would be a, a good idea. That um, that didn't work out exactly as we had uh, talked about in game plan. But he, uh, you know, 32 and 12, we've struggled with some more athletic, uh, bigger guys in a few of the games. And I thought he set the tone on both ends of the floor. And, um, you know, between him and Dunn, they're, uh, anytime you got a one and a five, they're as good as those guys. Um, I think that's a that's a good combination to have. Derek, did you, did you guys just prepare for this game, assuming Dunn was going to play and he's going to be healthy enough to go? We did. Um, I, I thought he was playing. I was hopeful you know, in one way that he won it, but also um, I thought it would be good for us to go at a guy who I think is a high lottery pick. Um, and uh, he, he's a good player, really good player. But he's been, he's, you know, McDonald's All-American and a guy who can really play. Obviously, you had a lot of respect for him throughout the week, but was his court vision something that you were really impressed with tonight? I mean, I've been impressed with it. So, I mean, you know, seeing him in person, obviously. I've seen him in high school, you know, last year, a few other times. And kids, a kid can play. I mean, it's uh, anytime he's a top whatever draft pick, potentially, uh, you know he's a good player. Derek, you said coming into this game, in addition to all things you wanted to accomplish in this game as itself, you, ho you hope that this game would help you be a, something that would prepare you for the conference play going, going forward down the road. You didn't get the result you wanted, but you think there are things that came out of this game that would help you in that respect? A absolutely. Um, you know, I think um, when we start playing these higher level teams and, you know, maybe a team of that caliber of some of the things you don't, you can't get away with that you might be able to get away with with some other teams. Um, I thought we, you know, we didn't have uh, the, the kind of maybe pop that I would have liked as far as on the defense and on the floor with some of their actions. Um, but we'll get, we're going to get back to work. You know, I talked to the guys about that in the locker room. Um, we'll use this game as a learning curve like we have. And, you know, the one thing we can't have is, uh, you know, some bigger guys going for those kind of numbers. We're going to have to, um, we're gonna have to get our big guys uh, scrapping and fighting down there and making it a little more difficult. Hey, Antoine, was, does this feel like a, a good foundation for the way you played, the stamina you had to build off of for in terms of your own play, in, term, in terms of what you need to see? Uh, yes. Um, you know, coming to this game, uh, just trying to do what I can, you know, you know, help the team and you know get in the rhythm and you know I gotta work on getting back in shape to where I can do the things I know I can do on the court. But um, as far as it being a good foundation, I mean it's a start. It's not exactly how I wanted to start, but you know just shows you got a lot of work to do. Is it hard for you in a situation like this not to try to do too much in that first game back to try to erase missing ten games all in one shot? Um, you know, coming to this game, like my teammates and coach gave me a lot of confidence, so it wasn't. You know, where I was thinking too much on the court, I was just playing. But like I said, I need to get in the type of shape that I can be in so I can do the things I know I can do. But I didn't have any, I wasn't worrying about shots or anything in particular because I had the confidence from my teammates and coaches. Derek, what did he show you? I mean, he, he showed us what I've kind of known and seen. He's a, he's a versatile guy at six foot eight that can cover some different positions. Um, I think we have to get more comfortable with him now in the lineup of lineups that are on there, out there on the floor. and what lineups work together. Uh, but I, I do think he gives us a, a little more flexibility um, on the bench, and he gives us a bench. So um, now when we come back, we got I'm going to do a, a really good job with these guys to make sure that they are um, comfortable with different lineups, that we're going to practice really hard, and now we can actually practice, which I think is going to be good for us because for a little while there, we had eight guys um, every day in practice. So no excuses. We're going to take this loss and learn from it. Um, the guys are going home. Uh, for a few days, and we're going to come back in and get ready for uh, LIU and then the, the conference play, which I think um, if we can, uh, you know, get a few things worked out, we can, uh, I think we can play well. How beneficial was it to see some of these lineups now, and then you said you have LIU before you get in conference play? How much does it help you make? Well, you know, there was some odd lineups for us, obviously, but I think um, 
you know, anytime you can get different groups of five out there and see what guys can do and who plays to well together. We had some groups that, that made a nice run. I thought the zone, although it wasn't obviously perfect at times, it, it gave us some momentum. Um, we never really were able to get the press and the running game going against these guys. So, um, you know, I just got to figure out with uh, with him now in the lineup where he's, uh, you know, where he fits in. And, also to make sure that everybody's comfortable with how our style of play and what we're trying to do now that we have an extra body. You used Tyler as your first big up bench tonight for the first time of the season and then didn't go back to them. Was that the result of the the pace of the game or what you're trying to do lineup wise? Did he bang, get banged up or anything? Or was there I mean, not that he's the only one that didn't come up with a couple of loose balls, but um, you know, he's my senior big guy and I have expectations for him. And um, you know, he's, he needs to clean up every loose ball and go get the, the balls and and get those. So I think um, the guys have a, a good, clear indication of what's expected out of them, and um, we're going to move forward with that. Trey, you, you guys were uh, – did it feel kind of like you guys were running in quicksand for a lot of that second half where every time you'd string together a couple buckets, they'd have an answer, and it just never seemed like you got over that, that, that the 20-point hump there? No, we just didn't get no stops. That's what came down to. We get back on defense. They got easy buckets. Um, we scored, they scored, so – Point never changed. Is that is, is that? I mean, you guys have a, a kind of a long break here before the next one. Is that just a tough one to go into the holidays on? Yeah, a little bit. But I mean, I'm gonna try to forget about it. Come back, come back, uh, come back together, ready to play. I mean, I don't really do all too much. You, I mean, you've you've known Antoine for a long time. How nice was it for you just to see your buddy, your buddy back out on the court after all the talk about getting to play together and finally having that moment today? I'm happy to have him on the floor, man. But you know, it's not how he starts, how you finish. So I'm looking towards, towards the finish line to see, see what we can do. I'm not really too much uh, worried about this. You know, we got conference, so we get ready for that. There can Antoine be in an eight ten play? Did he can he be a piece that kind of puts you up another peg in terms of what he can he can do in terms of banging bodies down low? And you've seen him shoot a little bit. I mean, we'll see. I mean, he was really good overseas uh, over the summer. Um, did some good stuff, and um, I think he's a versatile body, like you said, that can, you know, bang down low. He can step away from the hoop a little bit. Um, obviously, he wasn't in shape, and I thought our floor balance was a little bit off with some new guys. I mean, you saw a lot of uh, kind of open floor layups where there was four guys on our team underneath the basket and, and one guy back with them kind of fast breaking. So those are things that we'll rectify um, as we get more comfortable with some different lines. You can't, you know, you can't give up 14 uh, fast break points, um, and some of them were were pretty easy ones where our floor balance was a little off because of personnel, honestly. Um, so we'll work on that. We'll get better. And then um, we're going to get ready to, uh, to come back against LIU and then get ready for conference.